Alzheimer's disease is a type of dementia and the most common neurodegenerative disease in the world. Currently, our means of diagnosing AD can only capture it at its latest stages, which is often too late in the disease for potential treatments to have any success. In the brain of a person with Alzheimer's disease is a spattering of aggregated proteins called amyloid beta plaques, and we know that these can appear early on in the disease progression. While we can image the brains of people using MRI scanners found in most hospitals, these MRIs are not sensitive enough to detect amyloid beta plaques. Here at the Brain Aging Research Laboratory at the University of New South Wales, we have been working on a method to improve the sensitivity of MRI to allow early diagnosis of AD. In addition to that, UNSW is home to only one of two magnetic particle imaging scanners in Australia. These MPI scanners can generate images rapidly and detect signal changes with high sensitivity and we've been pioneering research into using MPI to diagnose Alzheimer's disease. For this, we have developed imaging tracers using iron oxide nanoparticles, which have been activated to target and bind to amyloid beta plaques. Following the injection of these iron oxide nanoparticles into mice, we can see clear changes in the MRI and MPI images compared to mice that have been treated with saline. The MPI allows us to quantify the signal, providing crucial information about the staging of the disease, while MRI gives us information about the spatial location of the signal in the brain. We want to further develop these traces for detecting changes in the Alzheimer's brain. In addition to amyloid beta plaques, we will focus on using MPI to image tau tangles and the reduced integrity of the blood-brain barrier. This will allow greater confidence in diagnosis and better methods for drug development. Because iron oxide nanoparticles alter the signal in both MRI and MPI, this project allows us to improve an already widely available imaging modality, MRI, while simultaneously spearheading research into novel methods using MPI.